What's up, everybody? We're back. My name's Adam Meckler. Uh, we're here with another trumpet video for you. Today, we're going to talk about lip slurs and how you can modify some lip slur exercises that I really love uh, to help you build range and stamina. If you haven't already, hit subscribe, hit like on this video, and shoot me a comment. Let me know what kind of videos you'd like me to make. Today, we're going to talk about this wonderful book called Flexus. Flexus is a book by the great Laurie Frink and John McNeil. Laurie Frink was the trumpet teacher at New England Conservatory for a long time. A bunch of my friends studied with her. Uh, I never got to study with Laurie. I just found this book in 2008, uh, recommendation of a friend. I've been practicing out of it ever since. So we're going to talk about one particular slip slur exercise. Page 18, we've got uh, flexibility, the flexibility chapter. And uh, I'll put this music up on the screen so you can see there's this really great lip slur pattern that I really love. Uh, that goes like this. So it's a chromatic pattern that loops around. You can play games with yourself, see how long, how many times can I do this uh, in one breath. Now what I like to do to this exercise is I like to modify it and do it in octaves and also do it with lip bends. So lip bends, you can find lip bends in a whole bunch of different books. My teacher's book, John Daniel's book, uh, Special Studies for Trumpet, has some of this in it. So lots of people like to cover lip bends. Certainly flexus is no exception to that rule. Lip bends are essentially when you take a note and you bend it down. And you can bend a note like G all the way down to E flat. really go much farther than that you can hear my trumpet wants to drop down because I'm really bending that note a long way what I like to do is take notes from all over the horn and bend those notes and that's one way that I build my strength so that I can be playing high notes Above the staff, you could be bending these notes. Now, as we get higher and higher and the notes get closer and closer together, it becomes a little more difficult to bend pitches, but you can still bend pitches uh, pretty far up. So I like to take this original exercise by Laurie Frank, and first I like to practice it in octaves. So octaves, I don't know why, but I never practiced anything in octaves, in any of my lip slurs in octaves. I talked to a fellow student at the University of Minnesota when I was doing my master's degree there, and he suggested that I be doing lip slurs that are wider than just the intervals that are dictated by the horn. Uh, so try and skip an interval to get to the next interval. Uh, and of course that's written in Laurie Frank's book. <laughs> So you can hear there, I'm just going from C to C. You can do the same thing from G to G. So you can hear I'm fighting against the trumpet a little bit. It wants to play those partials in between. And now from G to G, there's a couple partials in between G and G. trying to skip through the C and the E. But I'm still kind of, I'm still keeping my air flowing. I don't want there to be any space in between the G and the G. I want it to be totally connected. Once you're feeling super confident doing this one lip slur pattern, which is a really cool pattern because you can move it all over the trumpet and use exactly the same fingerings. Same exact finger pattern when we do the octave slurs too. So this is something that I work on every week and 
I still struggle with not hitting some of those pitches in the middle. I still struggle with accuracy. It's something you have to do regularly in order to keep it up. Now, the thing that I like to do to help build range, to help build stamina, <laughs> to take that same exact slur pattern and add in the lip bends on every single note. Now this is going to take your slurs to the next level. You have to have a great amount of control over the trumpet, a great amount of strength in order to do these. But I'm not, when I say strength, I don't mean that I'm really bearing down on these. Uh, I'm trying to keep the horn light on my face. The lighter you keep the horn on your face, the easier it is to do a lip bend. If you're pushing really hard on your face, it's almost impossible to do lip bends when you're pushing hard. Because uh, the note really it wants to go up. That's why we push when we try to play high notes, um, which is a bad habit for a lot of trumpet players. But it is a short-term solution as well. So if you if you want to practice your bends to start, you can you can work on a G and just pull the horn gently away from your face uh, as you play the G. So I'm not actually, so you can do this by pulling the trumpet away from your face, but I'm not actually doing that when I do my lip bends. I'm just keeping it light on my face so I have the mobility, the ability to move my chops sort of like, I kind of push my lips into the mouthpiece a little bit. I pout my lower lip a little bit as well. That's a really exaggerated way of, uh, of demonstrating it, but I'm kind of pushing my lower lip into the mouthpiece a little bit to get these bends to happen while keeping the horn light on my face. So each one, I'm, I'm not necessarily trying to fly through it really fast. I'm, I'm really concentrating on making the slurs between the notes really smooth and then also getting that lip bend to happen. So once you can get to that level, make them bigger even now, try to go from low C to G on top of the staff. So that's another level of these slurs that I need to spend a lot more time working on as well, but that's sort of the next level. And when you talk about really famous trumpet players like Alan Bazzuti and Whit Marsalis, I mean, their whole lives is just sitting around practicing the trumpet, trying to figure out the hardest way to do things. So that when they encounter music that's difficult, they've already practiced things that are far more difficult than what the music is asking them to play. So you're always coming in prepared uh, to play something harder than what you actually have to play. That's the idea, right? That's it for today. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Please hit subscribe, hit like on the video, and uh, shoot me a comment. Let me know what kind of video you'd like to make. Bye. I got a guy who's really tight Who stays exactly by my side Just where he's supposed to be